Hi, everybody. I got a question to ask you. Have you ever needed something from someone or tried to get something from somebody, like maybe a coworker or maybe somebody at the customer service desk at a store, and they told you, oh, just, just talk to them, talk, talk to that person over there? Or maybe a coworker told you, yeah, ask, ask, ask him. How did that make you feel? Now, it might be that you went to the wrong person to get what you need, and that's fine. But what if you had had a relationship with that person before, and now all of a sudden, they didn't want to help you? All of a sudden, they didn't have time for you. How did that make you feel? Did it make you feel like a pest? Did it make you feel like a nuisance that you weren't wanted? I had an experience like that earlier today, but thankfully, I am able to forgive that person sooner rather than later, and that came from a lot of practice. But maybe something like that is happening to you, or has happened to you recently, and you're having trouble letting it go. I want to leave you with this one thought. Jesus, the God of the universe has loved you with an everlasting love. The God of the universe knew you before you were ever born. He knew you billions of years before you were ever born. The God of the universe wants you to know he will always have time for you. He will never delegate your requests. He will never tell you to, oh, j just talk to uh, Gabriel over there. Or uh, j just talk to, uh, talk to Michael. Talk to Michael. He'll, he'll help you. Or uh, go, go see St. Peter. I'm busy right now. No, the Lord himself, the Lord Jesus, wants you to come directly to him. You know, it's because of the blood of Jesus Christ that the curtain was torn in the temple. And we can now boldly approach the throne of grace. Jesus says, come to me. All of you who are weary, who are heavy laden, who are stressed, who are fearful, he promises to give you rest. Jesus wants you to come to him. He will never send you away. Matter of fact, he probably would like you to come to him more often than you do. How about that? You ever get that from a coworker? You ever get that from customer service? Boy, I wish you would call more often. I enjoy hearing from you. No. You won't get that from your co-workers or customer service, but you will get that from the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you with a love that you cannot possibly imagine. And I want to leave you with that thought. You are valuable to Jesus Christ. You are important to Jesus Christ. You can come to him at any time, day or night. He will always listen to you. He will never turn you away. Believe it and be satisfied. Thank you for listening. God bless you.